Episode twenty freaking four. I man. know it's like we've been doing this for God a almost while. a year now. Wow, it's kind of scary. I like um, it, but it is Monday, August eleventh, two thousand fourteen. And what does that mean, RJ? Oh, that means it's uh, it's pop culture, right? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Game no. changer. Game changer. No, no, no. no, no. Oh yeah, tech bites. Tech bites. You got it. So we got our first story of the day. Since I am apparently an Apple fanboy, I you are an Apple fanboy. I'll start out with that, that was proof of the live show of last week. It was. Week. We were taping the live show. If you guys watched it, and everyone um, between yeah. scenes, they were like, "Oh, you got some more Apple news for us, buddy? Yeah, you got yeah, some?" Yeah. Of course, it didn't help that the giant 17-inch MacBook sitting in front of me. Nope, all not at all. Up, so I, uh, whatever. Screw it. I'm gonna give you my Apple shit. All right. September 9 is a day you might want to remember. It's a big day. A huge day. Uh, it is all as confirmed as can be, and I say it like that because technically, until Apple sends the actual invites... It's never official, it's never but official. they do that like a week before the event because right. they love to screw with people's schedules. Right. But it looks like September 9th is the day that Apple will announce the iPhone 6. True story. So stick around for that. Uh, what's interesting is the rumors are still coming and still coming and still coming. Yep. Uh, my favorite one is... Production delays, and then there's no production delays, and then there's there production, production delays. delays. It's like, and I think they do that because they want to hype up people yeah. doing that, oh my god, am I going to be able to get one of these? Right. It's They do it every year. I think so. And on top of that, I guess my biggest thing is, now the announcement is going to be on that day. Yes. The question is, where will the release window be? Because we know it's usually like, It's usually okay, the Friday like, after that. That's what I'm saying. And so I, I don't know, with all yeah. these crazy rumors going around, another one of the rumors has been like, they're pushing it two weeks out from the uh, announcement right. date. And I'm like... I, yeah, I, I think, think maybe so. a week, but yeah, I couldn't yeah. see it going farther than that because they'll yeah. miss all that hype. Yeah, yeah that Apple's not ever going to do that. I Mm-mm. don't think so. I, I now it's possible that maybe the six, the the, the five and a half goes out two weeks. Like it's that's, possible, that's, yeah. But that actual version, that end all yeah, be all yeah, six, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to launch because they refuse to miss that hype window. And yes. if they do that with the we're announcing these, 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 right. they'll have even bigger hype windows for each model. Well, yes, I agree with that. And you may, while it may not launch, I would not be surprised to hear iWatch during that event. I think they'll talk about it, or they'll hint to it, or right. just one more thing. Just one more just thing. Just one more thing. Because, right. you know... I'm, I mean, Tim know, Cook's got to give that nostalgic throwback to I, some Steve Jobs I, at the end of every I, single I, big I press conference. That. I miss that about Steve Jobs. I do. Well, I that was know. the thing. Jobs always did it at the end of yeah. w, uh, WWDC. Oh, well, did everything. Every, yeah, I mean... Well, there is one more thing. And then, boom. And that's what everybody watched yeah. it for. Yeah, it was never a little one more thing. It nope. Was, it was oh, always yeah. like, oh, yeah, that thing that you really wanted to yeah. know? Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. Exactly. So look forward to that. But uh, and 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 maybe has sapphire glass display. Maybe not. We're still that rumor still keeps going back and forth. Speaking of sapphire glass display. Speaking of sapphire glass display, Huawei, which is a Taiwanese um, electronics manufacturer, and you that, probably have no idea who they are. It's possible that you don't. They do not sell uh, phones in the United States. They decided several years ago when they got in the market, they're like. I am not screwing with the U.S. market. Too much difference, too many phones, too, too much many regulations crazy regulations. They don't want to deal with, exactly. <clears throat> so they kind of own a lot of the other markets. And one thing that Huawei, if you do know who they are, you'll know they're famous for cloning the hell out of everything. LG phones and Samsung everything. phones and everything else. Well, not to be outdone, Huawei's launching a Sapphire Display mobile phone. What? Why would they? Oh, yeah. Because of the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, this is still going to be Android. Um, however... They're not going to be the first company that would surprise me to have it skinned a little iOS ish. I don't know. Nope. Now, that's a rumor. I can't say they're doing that or not. But if you've ever seen some of the Chinese iPhone direct knockoffs. Any of those Android knockoffs are almost yeah. perfectly skinned in an yeah. Android based version of iOS. Yeah, it's it's scary, actually. And it, it is. Um, it is. And I've seen some of these. Yeah. I even had a buddy of mine who well, grabbed yeah. one of the. He you had a burner. 50 he, bucks he, on the he, internet. Well, he had a burner phone. Yeah. And he loaded the, the OS mm-hmm. on there because he. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't load a Chinese OS on my phone. That's, right. that's crazy talk. But um, a burner phone, and it literally looks, acts, feels almost just like yeah, iOS. It's, it's creepy. It's, it's very scary. They've done they've done very very well. So, but that's uh, so Huawei's coming. Out, I think that's coming in September. Surprisingly, hmm. So we've I'm talked sure. about net neutrality, mind you. We have talked about net neutrality, but nobody has really talked about cellular net neutrality. I guess we're going to be yeah, cell t- cell tr- cell neutrality. Hashtag, we're keeping... That's like, copyright patent pending. Yeah, it sounds like a like a new move in Mortal Kombat. It does. Finish him, Seltrality. But the thing is, now, uh, we, so, we reported on this, what was it, last week? Last it, week, yeah. yeah. So Verizon um, just kind of came out, and we, we talked about this on last, last week's show. They're like, hey, uh, we're going to cap your data plans, because... Mm-hmm. 
because we are not making money off your unlimited. Right. And and, and and we can. Well, and they were pretty open about it. Now, everyone has done this. Sprint's done Sprint this. Sprint was the first people to right. do this. AT&T's done this. Um, even T-Mobile has done this. T-Mobile's done it. Yeah, they They'll, just don't. They just they, don't talk they, about they it. Won't, they, they, they won't act like they've done it. <clears throat> but, you know, even their new four, they're, even their new family plan where they're trying to beat AT&T, mm-hmm. they, you get 10 gigs of T-Mobile for only $100 instead of 160 if you read the fine print, it's two and a half gig per phone. Yep, and so then, like, then it throttles the data then back. Then it throttles like a mother, and it, and then they have they have overage charges that even though they don't have it overage charges, crazy. they do. It gets really weird. But all that aside, Verizon said, "Yeah, we're doing it," and the FCC was like, uh, "Did you just admit to that? Because because hmm. because yeah. now we gotta now we gotta look into it, right? But they're not just looking into Verizon. No, they're no. looking into." Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Um, I would say right now, some mobile vredders are a little pissed off at Verizon Wireless because mm-hmm. they just opened up Pandora's cell phone box. For everybody. But the biggest thing is because Verizon yeah. was the first person to do it, it's only going to hurt everybody else for the most part. And I think yeah. Verizon's going to... It's going to be good guy Verizon over here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> we'll tell Verizon. you that we're doing it. Yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. it's such a... Which yeah. is funny. I consider them to be an anti-hero in the game right now. Which is funny because we'll be talking about antiheroes on, on Friday, Friday. Yep. so for the best yeah. of. But for different anti. Um, so, what do you expect to see come out of this? Do you think there'll be a change in regulations or a change in rules? I, really I don't. don't. I don't. I don't think. I think it'll I just think... mean that they have to add more small text in all their yes. all their policies that, that is, nobody will that ever is read. All it's going to mean because at the end of the day, I don't see this doing anything other than nah. wasting the FCC's time, wasting Verizon's time, wasting AT and and taking time. away people from looking at the important. Thing right. which is net neutrality. Which is net neutrality. So I mean, speaking of net neutrality, <laughs> do, do you know the final tally of emails? Of curse words. Of well, emails first. Uh, one it was one point. One yeah, million. it was a lot, and so, they have to read every single one of those. Well, they've cataloged them. They've parsed and cataloged, and apparently, the internet has officially given about forty-seven hundred fucks. Mm-hmm. It's a true story, and they've been. They, they, there's an infographic out there. Go there check it out. It breaks down each single. And it's this isn't a joke. It was an infographic actually released by, by the, the FCC, FCC of how many fucks were given mm-hmm. about net neutrality. And, and apparently the, the different... internet really cares. Yeah, we do. We really care. And we say 4,000. We don't mean 4,000 people use the F-bomb. There are 4,000 different variants of, of the, the F-bomb. F-bomb. So, and that's not, it wasn't, you can't look at it 1. million and only 4,700. Right. Those were the variants. No, yeah. That's how was, many different uses of that word. I, I know we try not to drop the F-bomb in this show, but you can't not talk George about George Carlin story. would be hugely proud of everybody yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was fuck, fuckery, fuckers. I mean, it just on and on and on oh, and on. Oh, man, it, it was, was crazy. Bad. So speaking so. of uh, a change in uh, legislation rules and tiny text. Oh, I love tiny text. Don't you love tiny text? I, I hate, and I hate, you know what? The one thing <laughs> I hate that everybody hates, I think, hmm. Terms and conditions. Oh my God! Who reads? Do you read terms and conditions? I have I have read one set of terms and conditions in was my it life. Was it the iOS terms and conditions after not, the South Park episode? It was not or, that. Or it was the original iTunes terms and conditions, and I read it because somebody told me, "Man, you should read through there. There's some weird stuff." And there is to this day. Which, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this. It's illegal to use iTunes in any sort of form of nuclear warfare. So, and that's, that's legitimately important. in there. That's important, though. Because, you know. <clears throat> I'm terrorism. just saying, maybe if I'm going to drop bombs on another country, I want to listen to Highway to the Danger Zone. Hashtag America. But, speaking of terms and conditions, Facebook. Oh, yes. So, um, apparently, Facebook has a term and conditions that everybody on the internet is a little bit happy about. They're and just except. No, they're not. They're not. They're well, pissed. the biggest problem is that nobody's actually gone out there and read the whole thing. So. You enlighten us. What is the internet pissed off about Facebook's terms and conditions for the messenger app? Since that's here's what we're the about. here's the sweet sweet irony behind this. Yes. Everybody is upset that their privacy is being debunked and that they right. their, any message they send is going to be able to use be mm-hmm. used in advertising. And Facebook just owns it. They also own any of the pictures that you send through there. Right. Right. Any of that stuff. Right. You guys are mad about the wrong thing. Yes. Yeah. What you should be mad about is it what it does do is it allows the the application to use your phone to make phone calls without your intervention. Did you know that? Because that's what you should be pissed off about. Now, to be way. fair, it's all it's already been able to do that. I'm not saying it hasn't, but it's if you're one of the one million people that have this app installed, you've I given Facebook, installed. you've given Facebook. Now it does it. ask you though. It does say, "Hey, can we use your yes. phone for this?" And I said, "Yeah, fine, sure, I don't care." The weird thing about it now, if you think about this. Using your phone just actually doesn't mean necessarily making calls. It means yeah. the ability to turn the mic on at any point in time it wants right. to. Is that scary? It can also read through your call logs. Yeah. Incoming and outgoing call logs, which is another <clears throat> big one. Is that scary to me? Not really, no. Because yeah. if the NSA really wanted to get into right. anybody's phone, 
they're already probably well, they're already there. Yeah. So, but, and that's the thing. It's it's. It, but you're right. It's interesting what people are pissed off about. So if we think about what it can do, it can basically do everything that your phone can do from a from a calling standpoint. Now the whole purpose of that is, and people liked this feature until they started realizing it was oh mm -hmm. my god, it's privacy. Is it allows you to make calls from inside the app without using any minutes. Without using any minutes, it also lets you get phone numbers from other people sure does. that you don't already have. So let's say if I didn't have RJ's phone number... But and we were, we're on, friends on Facebook. We're on friends on Facebook, and he's put his phone number in the app. Mm -hmm. He does have to do that at least. It pops, it pops up. It actually, popular. Especially if you sync, right. it just pulls all the It'll contacts sync down from and Facebook. Also, hey, I, got, I, got, I got RJ's phone number. Yeah. Sweet. Now, a thing right. for me about this is I look at it from the how can they prosper from doing this? What's right. the point of that? Well, here's the thing. Since they have access to all your call logs, they can sync up any of those numbers you've dialed to certain agencies or tech support or anything like that. And they can find out um, by looking at your age range mm -hmm. and looking at the calls you make, the types of call they make. They can sync those up with other database lists and find out more things that you like that they can sell you ads yeah, for. Because yeah. it's all about advertising, people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always about advertising. And by the way, there's nothing that says they can't sell your phone number. Yes, it's true. So now the whole thing about pictures and data and any of the conversations that we've had going through there, if you fully believe that Facebook hasn't already been doing that, you're stupid. Yeah, yeah, you're very stupid. I don't mean to come out and just be, I don't know a better way to say it. Which is why I was surprised when like people use Facebook Messenger to, to sext. Yeah. Like that, like one, that was going to be hidden from somebody? Yeah, I no. I mean, like, like the only thing worse is Snapchat for, mm -hmm. for privacy. That's what I'm saying. Like, sna honest, Snapchat yeah. is going to be... So if you guys don't think there's an yeah. archive data somewhere, you are yeah. I mean, if you, want, if you want to be as protected as you can without just not doing it, use SMS. Yeah, just use or, your own. Yeah. Because yeah. if you think Apple's not keeping your iMessages, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did say SMS. <laughs> yeah. For that reason. Exactly. Because, so, damn. Old school MMS SMS is really the only way to fully be secured about but that. But that's, yeah, so get, <laughs> get hurt. The whole point is get hurt about the right thing. Yeah. And if as many of you people would go sure. out about government regulations as you are about Facebook Messenger changing, maybe we wouldn't have net neutrality. Problems. I'm just saying. I'm just, just saying. You know. But I like <sighs> T-Mobile's awesome. Doesn't I don't have to pay for my music service anymore? Well, you know what? People are liking something that T-Mobile has out now. Yeah. And do you want to talk about it real quick? We've got time. Sure. T-Mobile has an app. They have an awesome app. Because there's an opinion. app for that. Apparently, if you want to unlock your phone, there's an app for that. Yep, but it only works on like 12 yeah. phones. <laughs> there is a small catch. That's the catch. They're small like, oh, you want to unlock your phone? Sure, as long as you bought it in the last three months. So basically, there's an unlock app that T-Mobile created for mid-range Samsung devices. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you do have one of those devices, that's actually great. Because you can download the app, you click a button. And chances are you do have one of yeah. those mid-range devices because everybody buys your those. carrier unlocked just mm -hmm. that fast. Now, the reason that we bring this to you is we talked last week about the fact that, hey, or no, week before last, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, we finally got the law and you can now unlock, unlock your, your phone. phone without prosecution, which was stupid to start with. Do you believe that this is actually going to fully unlock your phone? Yes, it does. Really? Yes, it does. Mm. I, I do. And it, because this is, T, so T-Mobile touts themselves as the uncarrier. They really right? do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is more to get people to come to T-Mobile than it is than anything else. Yeah, because it will carry or unlock any phone. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. So if you want to bring your phone over to T-Mobile and you have one of these, right. so you could download that from the store, unlock right. your phone, and go to T-Mobile with right. the phone. Now, what's the really interesting fact is it also allows you to somehow set the phone to be protected. So if you carry or lock it to T-Mobile, for example, mm -hmm. you can then protect it, and it won't be able. You, they, they they can't unlock it. Now I'm not entirely sure how that technology works. Yeah, I'm not either because that's weird. I don't know if they put because there are. I mean, there maybe there's are, a security code or something like that. There are internal security passwords for devices that are e EMEI locks. Mm -hmm. There are SIM card locks, and I'm assuming it does some kind of variant of that. Uh, it would it would be some weird form I, of CDMA I, lock. It's yeah, a, it's a, yeah, yeah it's IEI. I, I mean, uh, electronic I, I identification. Don't know. I really IEN. But, yeah. Yeah. So. Me freaking acronym. There really are, especially when it comes to phones. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I mean, it's kind of interesting, and you know, I, I gotta give them props for doing that and being open because yeah. you could also t you could also be like, well, I don't want to use T-Mobile anymore. I will use T-Mobile's app and leave T-Mobile. So yeah. suck it on T-Mobile. But they want to give yeah. you the option. So props yeah. on that for giving you the option. Yeah. You know, because because they got all that kind of money that they're getting from nobody buying T-Mobile. Well, and I'd rather yeah, exactly <laughs> they're getting tons of money from nobody buying T-Mobile. Billion here, three billion there. Yep, um, and. If you're on T-Mobile and you have one of these phones or whatever, look, 
I would rather you go download their app to unlock your phone than to than... go some rando place or yeah. the internet yeah. and get and an unlock there. That's the real reason we're bringing you the story. It's safer. It's, it's it is way safer an option. Um, there are other ways to unlock your phone that are safe also, but but be careful. Yeah. So honestly, that's all I got. That's I mean, you got bites, anything for tech no, bites? That's, that's tech bites for the week. Tomorrow, though, we got game change. We got some game news for you. Uh, mostly, we'll be talking about some interesting game mods that led somebody to get some special things in Ooh. Mario 64 that you never would have been able to gotten before. Stick around. People we'll be back. Make sure Mario Kart. people, not Mario Kart, just Super Mario oh, 64. Oh, Mario 64. So stick around. We'll be back. Don't forget to click subscribe. Uh, like us on the Facebook. And if you want to, drop us a line at that uh, show at thatstupidpodcast.com. Give us a call at 480 Good night.